It's a monumental stay here at Owl Spikes UK and Europe, certainly one that's become part of our DNA and one that we won't be forgetting. We are ridiculously excited and proud to be able to reveal our first female ambassador. From the moment we first spoke to this female, it became really clear that there was true alignment in our values. From her campaigning for better recognition for women's achievements and time trialling, through to the groundbreaking conversations that she's been having with the WTRL to create a women's league on Zwift. This rider's passion and drive has already created so many opportunities for female cyclists everywhere. Her outstanding performance has seen her nailing the 100 mile national TT record in 2017, through to breaking Beryl Burton's 50 year old 12 hour national record. From taking part in the Women's Tour in 2021 to more recently being one of only eight women selected to participate in the Olympics eSports series representing Great Britain, this woman has demonstrated such passion, drive and determination and as you can imagine here at Elves Bites we are so excited to welcome her. Ladies and gentlemen, Alice Lethbridge. So I think the thing that really excited me about Els Bites when I first um, heard about you guys is the accessibility um, of the attitude that you've got, which is I get more people on bikes because for me, cycling is such a beautiful sport. You go places that you would never go in a car, you'd never go on foot, but it's so expensive and that prices so many people out who would love to do it, would love to race, etc. Um, and for me, having a company that actually want, really do actually want to get more people on bikes, they're not just saying it, but they do want to enable it, that's perfect because I want more people who have the desire, the passion, the enthusiasm to be able to access cycling as a sport. You know, it's I think there's a very big difference between like rhetoric and reality and I think there's a lot of people out there who you know will have that rhetoric but when it comes down to actually delivering they're not and I feel that as manufacturers that we've got a responsibility to make sure that we are enabling and giving these opportunities. We have Alice Lethbridge's wonderful Falaf Evo here. Beautiful custom paint. We have the Chameleon Nebula, bleeding into the Chameleon Jewelry Blue and then bleeding back into the Nebula. We're running a Shimano 12-speed Ultegra Di2 group set. We've got 165 cranks, which are quite fashionable these days. Um, we have the wonderful and our favourite Valar TH50D wheels. And we're running Continental GP5000S tubeless tyres on this and they're set up tubeless as well. We've got the Arome integrated cockpit bars, nice and slammed for Alice's time trials. And the bike weighs in spot on at eight kilograms. Um, I think this is probably one of the most beautiful bikes we've built. It looks stunning. Seeing the bike for the first time, I mean, it's so beautiful and it exceeded my expectations. Just how beautiful it looks. I always thought, oh, it's too beautiful to ride, but then riding it, wow just so easy and smooth and fast and it just felt really effortless. Like being able to have a custom built bike is just relieves so much stress from myself as a racer because if you buy a sort of standard shop bought bike you're immediately needing to change things. Like for me um, as a female I'm quite tall so I need a slightly larger, larger frame but the bikes are built for men, so they would come with handlebars that are far too wide for me. So one of the first things I, I would need to do is buy new handlebars, whereas you obviously asked me straight away, what size handlebars do I want? But if I went for a smaller frame, it would be different crank lengths, and again, I'd have to buy new cranks. So being able to just say right from the start, this is exactly what I like to ride, and being able to get a whole brand new bike that's set up exactly how you want is just phenomenal. It's something you just wouldn't really get elsewhere. This is the most beautiful bike and I'm just, I'm so lucky to be, you know, to have got the opportunity to partner with you and get something that rides so nicely, looks so beautiful and I could afford. <laughs> it's so responsive and so fast, like 
it's kind of catching me off guard how little power I need to put through the pedals to actually go fast. <laughs> Tell me kind of what are your aspirations for the next 12 months? Um, so uh, for the rest of the season I have some National A races remaining um, and I'd really like to sort of achieve a good placing in those. I've been knocking on the door of the top 20 placings for a while now and not quite managed to push up into those so that's a big aim for me to get up into there, um, into the points and then going forward um, my team next year we're hoping to do some more races in Europe. Um, I really loved having the opportunity to do that a couple of years ago so it would be really good fun to be able to race up at that professional level again. I feel very very lucky and honoured that you've joined us to so say it's it's an amazing privilege from our point of view that someone um, with your incredible history and everything that you've achieved um, has chosen us. So, you know, the feeling's um, absolutely reciprocal there. You know, we're, we're, we're really, really excited about what the future holds.